So next next symbol, a ghost. What is a ghost? A ghost is a non-physical being that is kind of being able to be perceived in third dimension. You can kind of see it a little bit physically, but not really. So our fourth dimensional body, like we talked about before, our fourth dimensional body is so really our fourth dimensional body is our soul, you know, which is made up of the astral body, the emotional body, and the mental body. You know, that makes up the soul. But for most of us, as far as you know, terms and verbiage and things, astral body is is what we uh say. A ghost will represent your unawareness of your astral body. But you kind of are perceiving it a little bit. You know, so in a way, it also represents awareness of your astral body. But not full awareness, only a little awareness, mostly unawareness. You know, because you can only see the ghost a little. When it's a ghost, you can only see it a little bit. Maybe for a flash of a second, I'll corner your eye. You know what I mean? And so you are full, you are, you're, you're less aware of it than you are aware of it. What was that? I mean, you're not aware of what it even was. You know, so I'm saying all of that to give you more idea of just how much awareness of the astral body that will represent. Just enough to, oh, I kind of felt myself floating away for a second. What's going on? I mean, what, what, what was that? I have a little bit of awareness of my astral body. You know, I'm on a roller coaster, boom, hit the dip, but whoo. You know I mean, that little feeling on your belly. Means your physical body was pulled down, but your you know your soul was a little delayed. <laughs> you know it was pulled behind just a little bit less, start a little bit behind. You know it lagged a little bit, you know, a little bit of awareness. And oh, whoa, 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 what was that feeling? That was your astral body. You know you weren't really fully aware of it. You know you didn't just have an out of boom. You know be out of out of body experience and watch yourself hit the next three loops. <laughs> you know it was just a little awareness. So whenever a ghost shows up in a dream, what's going on in the dream? You know, what what what, what the context of that, whatever was going on in the dream, is going to help you to identify, you know, what was going on in your life that is providing you a little bit more awareness or causing you to be more unaware of your own astral body, your own soul. So when, um, like, like, for example, one of the most prominent dreams for me, that a ghost showed up uh, was a long time ago. It's, it's, now I have a lot of awareness of that. But um, it was on a stairwell. I was, there was like a door and opened the door to these higher steps, to these steps going up. And there was a ghost that went through the walls in the middle of the steps, halfway up. So let's break that down. Door. Doors, the function of doors is to give you access into another room. What are rooms? They're places. What are places? States of mind. Being able to access one, a door provides you with access from one state of mind to another. You know, doorways. So, like we have these different, you know, there's three divisions, some superconscious, subconscious, conscious. And there's seven levels. Physical, emotional, lower astral, upper astral, mental, causal, superconscious, or uh, cosmic consciousness. It's actually a reverse order. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ever, so that's another thing. I should have numbered these. So if you ever hear me saying, talking about the fourth, the fourth level of mind, you know, that's talking about the upper astral, the third level of mind, the mental, sixth level of mind, emotional, seventh level of mind, physical. In order to access these different levels, because they're almost like planes of existence, <clears throat> so doors will allow you access into different levels of mind. So, or different states of mind. Now, what I, in, most, in most dreams, they will provide you with there'll be more talking about um you know moving and shifting from you know a state of mind of sadness to a state of mind of joy state of mind of you know when you're at work and you go home and, and relax you know are you able to walk through that door of being in a state of mind of being productive to being in a relaxed state of mind are you able to walk through that door you know so that's that's more what doors are going to show up in your dream but for this dream specifically which is why i brought all this up because on the other side of that door were stairs. And stairs, or the function of stairs, are to go up and down different levels. Well, how does that relate to consciousness? I mean, I just laid it out. There's different levels. 
access to being able to go up and down different levels. So for in that dream, I was on the bottom floor, on the first floor, first floor, what are we talking about? In the house. First floor represents conscious mind, second floor represents sub subconscious mind, third floor represents superconscious mind. And around and also to give you insight, around the time of doing this dream is when I very first started um, you know, lucid dreaming. Like I started getting uh like my I was getting deeper with my dreams. I started to become a little like there were there were it was like hints of lucidity where like I would start to question things in the dream and then I would just let it go and move on. Whereas if I would have continued to question it, I would have become lucid. Like one more question and I would have become lucid. Ten more seconds on that same question, I would have become lucid. You know, so around that time, before I actually started to become lucid all the time, is when I I was I had this dream. And so, you know, I opened up the door. I was on the first floor here, opened up the door, the only door to, and there were stairs to a higher level. The only higher level is going within, you know, emotional level, but, you know, you're going into the subconscious mind. So, and when I see a ghost, so a little become, starting to become a little bit more aware that I'm more than just my physical body. You know, not too much. I haven't experienced it yet, you know, but just a little bit. Ghost represents. <laughs> Unaware of the astral body. 